So we've done a lot of videos with the Dolphin Donner and how to put on compression socks in different ways and, and some troubleshooting. But I've had one request for a shorter instructional video. So, so once you know the basics, you can do a quick review. So here it comes. Okay, so I'm starting here by just uh, making sure the suction cup is securely fastened. Slide the compression garment over, give it a little bit of a stretch. Uh, slide the donner, or roll the donner down. Not all the way down, give it a little stretch on the fabric, roll it up. Switch your grip and push it off the end. And then it will be all loaded and you just tighten it up at the toe box at the end. Get your compression, or, or I mean your uh, rubber gloves on. Make sure your toe box is good and tight. Make sure you have a, your heel located in the right position. Like I just showed there. And roll it on. Use the palm of your hand. Don't pinch the donner. You don't have to use your fingertips. Just let the rubber of the gloves do the work. And then you do your final adjusting. Of course, you would never put it on top of the pants the way, I, way I'm doing it here. Uh, this is for just to show how it works. So I'm going to show how to use it in reverse to take the compression sock off. In this example, I have my leg on the floor, but each one will have to find their own way. So my pants are getting a little bit tangled up there. It's actually easier without the pants on. I'm going to show another leg position. This is with the legs crossed. The benefit of that is your foot's not on the ground, so you don't have the floor to deal with as you come past the heel. Uh, but once you get uh, up high enough, you can put the foot back on the floor. So that's one version of using it. Now, as always, you do your final adjustments with the rubber gloves. Save your fingernails and your pinchers. Here's a third version of a leg position where I have the leg resting on the knee like you can see. Um, and for some people that's easier than trying to bend down all the way to the floor. As you can see, I never had to fully bend down when I did that. And then finally I'm going to take it off also with the leg up from the floor instead of having the leg on the floor. And for the final bit, you can cross your legs in that way and get support from the other leg. Thank you for watching. That was intended to just be a quick review for those that already have seen the full instructional videos. If you want more detailed uh, instructions, we have a lot of other videos. Uh, so sub subscribe to our channel or uh, go to our website, selfcaretherapy.com. Uh, and check out our other videos. We have troubleshooting videos and we have more, much more detailed instructions for the Dolphin Donner. We also have a video on how to use it uh, together with a pad on the floor and a reacher if you have a hard time reaching your feet. Uh, and as I always say, uh, we can sometimes make it look really easy on the video and it will be that easy once you have learned the technique, but it takes training. Um, remember, we've done this a lot and I'm a therapist, I don't have disabilities myself, but all my patients are do. Uh, that's why they're seeing us. And so we have seen people with really difficult challenges that have been able to learn to do this. Uh, but it's taken a lot of training and patience. So never give up, uh, keep trying and find what works for you.